friendly versus creepy. Friendly versus creepy. Uh, you see this everywhere. Especially furry. Uh, it can happen in real life too. It doesn't have to be online. It doesn't have to be DMs, anything yep. like that. We've personally had it happen at cons. Maybe we'll tell that story here soon, but yeah, mostly it would be people that PM you online, DM you whatever site you're on, and they started off as friendly, but then it gets a little too personal. <laughs> Have you had anything like this? <laughs> Go on. Um. Like, even with my new suit, I've had a bunch of PMs on Instagram that I refuse to respond because for this exact reason, mm -hmm. with, I have a bunch of them that say, hi, 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 and it's like, what do you people want? So you're and trying to say that it becomes kind of stalkery? No, like multiple people, not a single person. Mm. Okay. Repeatedly, but it still kind of like gives you the chills, like, what does this person want? Why are they PMing me? I hope they don't try to go kind of flirtatious with this. Well, this is one that I've seen uh, complained about on, like, Twitter. People say that a lot of uh, furries will see it as creepy more so than just them being friendly. But when you have somebody that seems to want to PM you and after an initial high or something, <laughs> they start kind of going into the whole overly sexual side of things. Hi, HRU. What are you doing? Playing a game? Can I play you? Yeah, I mean, it, at that point, it's not <laughs> friendly anymore. No, that's overstepping boundaries. And from the receiving end, it's like, you don't know if the person is open to that. You don't yeah. know if they're in a close relationship like us. Mm -hmm. And you don't know if it'll be well received. So why not just... Get to know the person, see if they're open to it, and then do that. And then on the other end of it, it could be that they bother you too much. Um, maybe you don't have the time to always be there, ready to talk to them. Yeah. And they sit there, hi, HRU, over and over again until you finally maybe block them, maybe talk to them. That's not being friendly. That you know. At that point, is just being stalkerish or trying to force you to say something to them. Yeah. And then um, I had a kid on, like, Instagram who tried to PM me, which, by the way, I don't really am that open to PMs because yeah. social anxiety and this exact reason. But. I used to be more, but a lot of those random PMs definitely lead into a trying to hit on you type of thing. But then this kid simply said, oh, I love your TikToks. And then to me it's like, okay, I... I I don't know where this um, is going to lead to, so I'm not sure if I should answer it or not. And like a day or two later, I get the same exact message, which means Instagram has it to where if you get like a notification pop up on your phone, then a new message is sent. Mm. Which means the person sent the first message, deleted it, then resent a PM. <laughs> and at that point, it's like, this is getting too stalkery, I'm blocking. <laughs> well, they might have had a typo in it. No, it, it, there wasn't a typo. <laughs> Yeah, um... And it's like, if somebody isn't open to PMs, there's a reason why. <laughs> Respect that. Well, they've a lot of probably the... gotten creepy stuff before they don't have time for mm. everyone, and it's just... A lot of the more known furries, they don't have time for everybody. You just can't. You're going to have hundreds of people trying to PM you. Um, and a lot of them are, in fact, creepy, probably. A lot of them do want to hit on to that person because... Again, furry is very over-sexualized. And the big numbers look good, too. Those, mm -hmm. like, say you get somebody who answers your PM with, like, 10,000 plus on Twitter and everywhere else. And imagine the social status if they play along with you. That's probably also their goal. Yeah, with probably the a little bit of blowback from numbers. I mean, I guess my stance in it is I don't mind friendly. Friendly is fine. I never, I never mind it. Um, if somebody wanted to like PM me and be like, hey, I like video games. Uh, let's talk about video games. Talk about something. Oh, hey, I see you do art. Can you tell yeah. me about your art? How did you get into art? These sorts of things are fine. But when it gets to be like, ooh, woo, you're cute. Ooh, woo. Yeah. No, please That's, don't. It's like I don't know what they ex want from that, from saying you're cute or... 
um, sending you a weird like sticker what? that's like sexualized or a or a or a friend a you've known for a long it. time sending a gif of like too close of a hug. Yeah. And oftentimes people will take that really badly and they won't talk to you anymore. Even though it's their fault. (laughs) Yeah. But it can also go in real life. People that barely know you can come up to you in in cons, give you that really strange hug that's a little too long, a little too close, or they ask you the strangest things. Hey, What's your fetish? Do you have a fetish? Yeah, we actually had somebody come up to us and ask that in public. And that's not being friendly. Like, one... That's being creepy. We're not in an open relationship. Mm -hmm. Two, you don't ask that of strangers you don't know the history of. Well, just imagine going to Target and finding a couple and ask them, Hey, what's your fetish? (laughs) Most people are either going to, like, knock you out or they're going to go to the security and management of the place. They're not going to like it. And it's the same thing that should be accepted in furry is yeah. try to keep your distance. Be friendly. Don't be creepy. And it's it's everywhere in furry. It really is. Um, I don't know why it's like kind of a wild west for people to hit on others or be creepy in general. I even put in my bio that we're engaged. Mm. So it's like I'm off limits. I get it that it could be like um, personality types. It could be um, but still. maybe they didn't grow up uh, knowing what is right and wrong like that. And uh, Well, it's the internet. There's all kinds of people. Mm-hmm. You need to learn how to you, have yeah. an open mind that there's other people with different interpretations of social etiquette. If you feel you don't have the manners, you need to learn them and um, maybe think twice before you say anything. Yeah, and... This kind of bleeds along into, like, kids that try to hit on adults, too. Oof. But same thing with, like, being creepy. Yeah. They and they definitely try to, um, they they assume everybody in the fur, in furry is the same age as them or something like that. If and those ages are yeah. outright stated. Yeah. It's, it's a mess. Um, but honestly, try to just use manners if you ever talk to somebody Please online. Please do. They're real people on the other side, and they're going to have real feelings based on what you say. Yeah. So if you come off friendly and you talk to them about things you they might actually be interested in, you might actually be interested in, they might talk to you, no matter who they are. But if you come to them and you just want to hit on them, you just want to say weird things to them, you don't have anything to say in general, and you just want to bug them, that's going to be seen as creepy. Yeah, and don't be mad if they block you. So, I mean, just just think of um, think of your actions first, right? Yes. You good? Like, I try to respect everybody, and I think the same should be said for everyone else. Same. I've tried. <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't even want to say, like, tried. I hope that it's just my nature in general. Like, I want to be kind, but not, like, too open. I think anybody that says I try to be kind is just trying is trying to make themselves sound better. So it's more like be kind, be somebody Do that's your nice. best. Don't try it. To be <laughs> respectful. Yeah. People uh, have feelings and they're real people behind the screen. Yep. And they're real people behind these suits. But uh you get on this topic? Yeah. Yeah. What's the next topic? Next one. Next, next one. topic. Yeah, next one.